Who knows? Well, it's not in the area anymore, so... That's what it is. General. I'll keep suing anyway. Uh, do you want to go left or do you want to go right? Let's go left. Straight on. Yeah, lower size. Whatever. Okay, so for the north, I think that's it for the north. You're going to attack Aquacom. Right, let's move further down. Alright, let's go deal with blur fucking Fermon then. Because this is fucking nuts. Fermon has one unit. So, what then? If we, uh... uh I'll just get some mercs. Whatever. It's not really. Let's get some mercs and this could be the garrison of Fermon or whatever. Alright, go on attack. We'll just, uh... We're gonna auto resolve it anyway, so it doesn't make much of a difference. Just a ram. That'll do. A ram and an auto resolve. I'll sort that out. Alright. We're gonna go to our saloner here. Drop him down. Alright, Luca. Attack. Get these fuckers out of here, please. Yes, you can. Auto resolve just to scare them off or whatever. There. Victory! Perfect. And then we'll drop him here. We'll go straight for up here and deal with Suggestica. Although I think they're going to see Suggestica in a turn or two, so. That's it. Right. Put Aquacom on Siege. And we'll do some ladders. And then we'll do that next turn, I think. See what we can do there. Alright. In terms of Greece, uh, we can move on to Medallarium now. Although we do have some reinforcements that Greece is coming down with. But we got a big stack coming, so I'm not all that worried. Not to resolve this, no point in doing the full one. Taking Medullarium, Manium, whatever you want to call it. Do a quick slice across the throat. And yet again, another Greece, Greek settlement falls. Next one is Massania, which is here. Uh, we're going to take Oscar now. I think we could just auto resolve Oscar, I think. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to do that. Now nah, we're going to attack. Uh, what's the thing you like? Nah, I could just all resolve. Perfect. So that's Oscar taken as well. Beautiful. Exterminate. And uh, we'll give, leave it a turn and we'll see what happens. Uh, regarding down here, I don't know, can we, can we sally against these guys? I don't think so. Attack! No, we can't. Oh, fuck. No fucking wonder, this is a... Oh my god, this is... Oh my god, this is stacked! The Roman Cavalry, 6 and 15? Like... Right, actually, like, putting... Here's the thing, though, right? Taking, um... Taking... Our, you know, the randomizer out of the equation. In terms of vanilla units, this is the perfect army you can ask for. I mean, three generals, that's three horsemen... Infantry, uh, shock, infantry with the whorehounds, 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 sorry. We got heavy infantry, we got artillery, we got skirmishers. Basically, we got cavalry for the flanks, we have a decent line infantry, we got specialist units in the back. Dude, that is fucking awesome. That's a really, really, really good, um, really good stack, but unfortunately, we do not have the power nor the troops to take them out. Right. Excuse me for a second, I'll be back in a sec. Alright man, I am back. Telling you, that shit was straight fire. I don't know what the fuck I'm on about. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, right, okay, okay, okay. Just gotta fucking reassemble myself at a minute. Are we at the end of the turn? Or we just... Right, okay, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, got, we got some boats here. We got some boats. Right, are you still heading leftwards? No, not you. You. Ah, you're still heading leftwards. Right. No worries then. Alright. Alright, you do this. Mitch units. Right, let's have a look. Uh, so this is on the fleet. Uh, we'll grab all of these, I think. 
There we go, do that. And you're sorted. Right, and you guys can go on your long voyage northwards or wherever you want to go. Uh, about here ish. Yes, okay. I know, no more bloody moves. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Alright, in fact, you guys can go to Cyrene since these guys are a little bit, uh... A little bit reddish, so you can go help the public court over, over them, yeah. Uh, at the same time, you're coming down to here, aren't you? Yes, you are. And you guys can get to here. In fact, you guys can go this way. We can't do that, yes, sir. you fucking can, and you will. Arsehole. Right, okay, so this guy, uh, you're going. That's an Opius. We want to get you up and round, if possible, because there's a summon here. I remember that from my fucking Total Conquest fucking All Salmons campaign from Julii. I mean, that took a hundred. A hundred and what? Fifteen parts to do? Christ, I mean, we're only up to, like, the 40s with this. But, gee, so, man. Alright, you're still heading up that way. Alright, in terms of here, I mean... There's nothing much we could do. Alright, let's enter and see what happens. Probably nothing, actually. Carfish is writing. Brilliant. We're all fucking writing. Cyrene is writing. Memphis is writing. Jerusalem is writing. Huh? Darius Marius? Huh. Does this do anything to the randomizer? I mean, this happens in vanilla, which changes up your troop types, so I guess. Uh, my new man, Gaius Marius. Uh, Gaius Marius has proposed a series of laws that allow the proletariat to join his reorganized Roman army. In return for many years of military service, every soldier will be given land as a kind of pension. This reform is passed in the People's Assembly without the approval of the Senate. It is certainty that such popularity and populist appeal will do Marius no favours in the long run. The troop types available for recruitment now reflect the structure of this new professional army. Check the recruitment scroll to view the details. But I'm sure as horseshit on a fly's face it doesn't do anything, right? Uh, not really, no. It's still kind of a... Uh, at least I think. I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. It's not done diligent. What's I don't think? No, I don't think so. Ah, uh, you know, fucking. Let me move here. There we go. That's better. Oh, Thirty thousand in profits. That's pretty cool. Death starts land. Yes, we know. Damascus grows. Fashion announcements. Alphidia. Uh, two new generals. Um, each retainer. Quartermaster. Pet lane. Armorer. Cook. Master Smith. Uh, Coliseum, mm -hmm. Boundary, Pratchett's Range, Lottable Juno, Barracks, Barracks, Sampy Peter, Repaired, Repaired, uh, Iberian Infantry, Iberian Infantry, uh, Simon Mercer has been retrained, Falksman, if I could scroll down, thank you all, right, okay, okay, let's have a look, let's have a look, see. It's still heading around that way, oh shit, I forgot, I've got some troops here, aren't I? Bollocks, I kind of forgot. Right, well, let's, uh, Send you as far west as you can go. I'll send you in this direction or so. There you go. You can go southwards. And you can go northwards or so. I, I don't know. Okay, cool. At the, mean, at the same time, though. Can you not join fleets? No, you can't because of equal fucking. Unless. Oh no, can, can you not Ready join fleets? Sail. No, something to do with the uh, the stars or something. I don't fucking know. Firstly, I wish you could join fleets, but the whole like ranking thing is a pain in the fucking ass, really. I'll tell you something, I. I apologize about my profanity, I don't know why I'm swearing my face off, I mean, there's literally no reason. <laughs> I'm a happy drunk, not a, not a, not a, not a, not a angry drunk, if you will. 
Okay, let's get you under. We'll get you across eventually. Okay, uh, we're going back to here. Are they still sieging? They are still sieging. But there's nothing we can do. I'm trying to get troops for Carthage up to here, but Carthage is right in. Is there anything we could do in terms of Fapsis? I think we can move a troops to Fapsis, I think. Not really. Not really whatsoever. Is it still 65? Yeah, it's got a riot. God damn it. Well, I mean, it's fine at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, we've failed our campaign objectives, but in terms of my own, all we have to do is just take Greece, and that is it. I'm not bothered about the 50 settlements or anything. I just want to take Greece out, and then just call it there, and I'll be a happy fucking man. That is all. Okay, we've got an Oscar. I'm going to take care of this big stack here, so I'm going to leave behind a couple of troops, at least. Uh, maybe not you guys, because you're our big troops. Alright. And the, uh, these guys I'm going to attack here. Alright, uh, yeah, this is going to be a big fight. I see it. Okay, chosen Axeman. Chosen Archer Warband. Ugh, wish me luck. Wish me luck indeedy, my friend. And I can have a smoke. Whilst the, uh, the general is talking his face off as usual. Hmm. Well, meh. You know me! I'm a true Roman of the old style! I believe in discipline, dignity, and duty! I believe that Rome has a destiny to rule the world! I also believe that we have a destiny! A destiny that starts afresh here! Over there stands the Greek army! They make a fine show! And are worthy enemies! They have been whipped to the battlefield like cattle for slaughter! We are even matched in numbers, man for man! But that does not tell the whole story! Yet, for all that, we are the stronger within ourselves! We are the greater warriors! They will make much of their cavalry today, but our main spearmen will see them up! Okay, yeah, done. All right, so this is gonna be a proper brawl. This one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right, let's get down to our bloody business. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at the uh, the Greek fighting force, because this is a big fight. I should come off the high ground, interesting. Now, I actually do recognise this um, battlefield, actually. I really do like this uh, battlefield. Uh, Legion and Cavalry. God. Eastern Infantry, Principe, Chosen Axe Wound, a 19 fucking attack. Chosen war actual Warband. Well, hopefully our elite armoured hoplite unit can take these guys out pretty well. That's what I'm hoping. They do have the high ground advantage, but... Hold my beer. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I hope that meme never goes out of... Right, as I say, get my breath back. Um, I hope that meme never goes out of flavour. The whole, the, whole, uh, the whole hold my beer thing. <laughs> Okay, so I can't even hold my I can't even hold my senses together, never mind fucking hold my drink. Hey, come on, Greece. Come on. Come on, uh, hot plates. Alright, if anything our chosen chariot archers are firing. Hopefully they'll soften up the enemy as we're uh, advancing. Okay, here we go. We're, we're marching now. Oh, well, we were. Are we literally just plain chicken? I don't know. Are we? Nope, here we go. We're going to battle. General, first of the fight as usual. Bengals for the health of Peltas. Oh, we got one unit gone already. That's all. Two units gone. Oh, that's a nice charge by the, uh, oh shit, that is a very nice charge by the, uh, the, uh, the chariots, uh, what should we call it? I lost track with the general, what's the general? Oh, there's generals over here. Legionnaire cavalry's coming in. Are you guys coming in or is it just going to be all the general, huh? Come on, get you guys in here. Come on. General, oh god, the general's deep. Yeah, this might be the end of the general. That's all I'm saying. 
That's the problem about Berserk units, they need support. And unfortunately, I think the General's done. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, the General's done. Ah, do you, my friend. Ah, do you, indeed. Much heartache. Much better to have lived. Yeah. Our uh, first general casualty of the Iberian campaign. But it's fine. Captains will come to his position replace with me. Sure. Let's take him down. That's all. Oh, what's wrong? What am I doing? I'm going to do it like that. There we go. Switch him away. There we go. See if our units can chase him down or whatever. I doubt it, but something right. Yep, oh, there we go. I was wondering why I wasn't going max speed. Uh, no. No, I think we're just... Yeah, this is going to run off. How many did we kill? We killed 68. Uh, I've only just pushed him back. <laughs> okay, now I've got a little bit of dilemma. Do I chase him? Or do I leave him? That's a good question. Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look at statistics. Alright, Herennius, rest in peace. 483, 329, 352. Uh, Captain Prozinos, uh, 476, 152, 144. And the most kills goes to the general. Uh, unfortunately, he's not around anymore, so. Fucking. Yeah, like I said, Berserk units need infantry support for them to be effective. And in fact, if anything, it went over that way, which is a bit shit, but whatever. We can just defend Oscar though, now until uh, we can deal with the, uh, deal so we can get reinforcements or so. War of Attrition, my friends. War of Attrition. War of Attrition. I'm still waiting for this fucking siege defense here. I mean, there's nothing we can do until they can start attacking. Even then, I'm kind of hoping we can fucking take them out, that's all. Whoa, shit. Don't know what happened there. In fact, actually, just in case. There we go. Safety save. Alright. Uh, actually, I kind of tend to drop them. Okay, first of all, that's the wrong army. That's the wrong boat. That's the right boat. Ready to sail. That, is, that is the right boat. Now, the question is, do I want to drop them off further up the coast here? I might do that, actually. Let's drop them off further up the coast. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, I'm gonna bring these guys over here to act as a buffer in case these rebel fleets attack. Which you can see. But yeah, we'll get them dropped here and we can deal with this if they take it, whatever. Uh, apart from anything else, there's nothing much we can do. Oh, they've actually called off the siege. Interesting. Right, well, get on the boat. And get dropped off here. And then we can go take Batavia. Aquacom, um, actually, let me put Lover Size on the siege first. Can we attack you and send you off? Good enough. Uh, we'll put it on the siege. I might, I might get drawn into a field fight, but that's not too bad. At least that'll be useful for us. Alright, um, do we attack a crap? Yeah, we'll take Aquacom. I don't know what the time is. Okay. I've got about uh, another 10 minutes or so, I think. Alright, Appius Floris, Captain My Dies. Okay, oh Jesus Christ, that's a lot of Chosen Warband. Chosen Swordsman, sorry. 13 and 17, 15 and 90. 14 and 18. Brill. Hoplites, Astarte, and of course, fucking elephants. Brill. Alright, well, let's just fight them. Let's take Aquacom. Oh, it's funny how I'm. Um, it's funny how the war has spread out over the course of the campaign. Yeah, if anything, it switches up the enemies. It does. But from now on, when we do our vanilla factions, fights will be a lot more concentrated one area of the map, rather than all over the place.
All right, let's start this siege, shall we? All right, and in the pissing rain as well. You know, I would hate to work in rain. That's the thing though, right? In the blazing sun, all right. Sun I can probably deal with. Cold, I could probably deal with. Wind, I could deal with. Snow, I can deal with. I don't think I could work in rain, you know? Like, there's just something about being patted. Battered, sorry. While working, it just doesn't work. I'll tell you something though, like, um, years ago when I was back at high school, um, one of my work, like, basically when we're in the second to last year of high school, uh, every Tuesday and Thursday we had work experience days, right? And basically at the beginning of the year, or the academic year, we would be given choices of what we would like to do to give us a taster into our working life, right? So you had a choice between, I don't know, let's say computing, uh, computer engineering, so computers, and uh, working in the school kitchen to be a chef or whatever, you know, just small tasters. One of the choices was angling. Or fishing, basically. And my exotic ass thought that was a pretty snazzy idea. It'll get me out of school for a bit. You know, enjoy the warm weather or the cold weather, whatever. And I would enjoy myself. Four months in, I called it quits because it was winter time, which the cold didn't bother. Didn't bother about the wind. So the, the, the cold, sorry. The only when it started fucking being windy, that's when it started to be a bit annoying, but I dealt with it. It was the fucking rain I could not stand. Just sitting there on a wee fucking chair tent thing. On a wee chair tent thing. And bloody sitting there in the rain. That annoyed the hell out of me. But the cool thing was though, for our lunch, um, the one of the teachers would go to the local chippy and get fish and chips or uh, you know a bit of chips worth uh, salt and or something like that or fries for my american viewers but um yeah that was lovely but after a few months i just couldn't do it anymore so i ended up doing um ended up working in the school kitchen for uh, cooking and stuff i wasn't really cooking anything i was just doing the pep the preparation the prep work but basically, I was a sandwich boy before I got promoted to salad boy. So sandwiches and salads. <laughs> and then I had a go at serving, which was a bit of a pain in the ass, really. But the cool thing was, I was able to leave at half day, which was really nice. So it was uh, pretty cool. But the annoying thing was, though, my high school at the time was about an hour from my from where I lived. But the cool thing about that school was, um, because it was a small one, and classes were only about between 8 to 10, uh, we got free taxis. So, like, we had, like, cabs, like, coming up and picking us up and stuff. School paid for it, so it was pretty cool. But the annoying thing was, with the work experience thing, we had to make our own way home, which was a bit bullshit. So, I had to get two buses to get home. I'm telling you, fucking... It was a pain in the ass, but it was kind of liberating at the same time, in all fairness, really. It was, uh, it was alright. I got used to it pretty quickly. I got used to it very quickly, so... That's cool. And I never fucking realised that the Chosen Swordsmen are coming down to attack our units. <laughs> uh, are we engaging here yet? Near enough. In fact, if anything, I just realised I'm not on double speed, which is where I should be. No, I am. Sorry about that. Two pieces of gas on about my past. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's just hot plates. If I was armored hot plates, I'll tell you what, come here. Oh, I can't because the berserked. Alright, but you can kind of tell who's who, really. Yeah, for the most part, we're coming in to some degree. It's nice. Yeah, here comes our chariots. Yeah, I think that's, um. I think that's about it, really. We're kind of done. Question, where's our... Oh, we're already fighting. Oh, I guess we are. Hey, it's a square. Eh, alright. Where's all the Velites fighting, by the way? Velites are fighting here. 
Ah, right. Okay, I didn't realize. Ah, right. They're fighting the uh, barbarian peasants. Yeah, well, they're going to be done soon enough. Just until the chosen swordsmen get involved. <laughs> ah, God. Right, well, anyway, I'd say this is a done deal, but obviously we still have a bit of resistance on the square, and in fact, our Falksman just got routed. Yeah. So we need to hurry up, clear the walls, and then we can just move on with the, uh, the fight. Which will be in a second or two. <laughs> Goodbye. I love that. Ah, uh, at least he died with dignity. Alright, is that everything? Hope so. I think it is. There's our Egyptian chariots and now berserked. Oh no, they're fighting the elephants. Oh, that's interesting. Very interesting. Elephants. Elephants are really powerful units, actually. Very powerful units. I believe you've got three different units of elephants. You've got elephants, which are the basic ones, though, then. And then I think you got, what is it? Armored elephants? And then you got war elephants and mercenary war elephants and stuff like that. I think. I just realized we're going to lose some troops here, I think. Yeah, we might, actually, we might actually lose some troops. For the most part, anyway. Are you still fighting those fucking peasants? No. Three chosen swordsmen that refuse to die. Sixteen. So is the rest of them. We're down here. <laughs> really? Really? You had to fight... Ugh, just come on, just take him out so we can move on life, please. Just take him out. Ugh, God almighty. You do realise some of your brethren are moving to the square already? Well, at least we've got action at the square. Alright, at least we can take the square in a second. What have we got? Okay, starty. And a couple of armor like uh, hop lights things. Uh, I'm telling you, it's the Punic War all over again. We've got Iberian, <laughs> Iberian infantry against the Stati. But even then, not going to do much without the proper backup, but they're coming now. Slowly and surely, they are coming. Yeah, unfortunately, that's the end of the Iberian, I think. Well, here comes the cavalry in infantry form. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right, come on, boys. Secure square, and then we can call it a night. I love the sound effects, the clinking of the armor and stuff. Butterfall. Yeah, there's the captain. God be praised. The enemy general right. is dead. Let's His fast forward this. Oh, we just end it. Yeah, sure, we'll end it. Alright, Appius Floris, 429, 305, 272, Captain Ma Madais, 319, 182, 14. Well, if casualties goes to, uh, well, most kills goes to unit number 5, armored hot plates, 104, sweet. Alright, okay, well, I think that's going to be it. I think I recorded for about an hour and 20, I think. Yeah, hour and 20, that's what we'll probably do. Got another settlement of, uh, Sifia. Quite important one as well, because we're getting closer and closer to unifying the front. Yeah, we're getting closer to unifying the front, because now we're just literally here, but as we progress more into Sifian territory, we're going to have little bits of troops here and there, so we're pretty much going to have to just slowly take care of one battle at a time, which is going to take a lot of time, but to be honest, the main fight's here. Alright, well anyway, that's going to be it from... What did I say? Um, Gatalia, Namidia, Matoya. I'm sure I saw Africa then. Sardinia. Did I say Africa? I'm sure I saw Africa. Byzantium. Oh, yeah, Africa here. Oh, yeah, it's the region for Carthage. All right, yeah, I was a bit confused. Though. I was like, what? Hey, right, well, anyway, as I said, that's going to be it for me. I hope my commentary wasn't too maniacal. I should be uh, a bit more calmer and a bit more down to earth next session. So, I just wanted to record some of it because, you know, I'm trying to record these in advance and get the game done to some degree so we can move on to the proper stuff in a week or so's time. But, yeah. 
So, anyway, that's going to be it for me. So, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like on any of the videos you enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, links to Twitter and Discord in the description below. Join and give a follow. And apart from that, you enjoyed the rest of your day. And I'll see you soon. Take care.